Future Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, with my very good friends, Jose Neuer and Ryan Boniface, we are back to a full team this week. I would say the ultimate threesome, but that's a different type of podcast. How are we doing, guys? Wow. Fabulous. Good. <laughs> Thank you, everyone out there, for listening, supporting what we do. Follow us on social media at Listen to N, Listen T O I N. Five star reviews, subscribe, all that good stuff everyone says who has a podcast. And of course, you can join us live each and every Tuesday, give or take six o'clock, maybe a bit earlier if Joe's harassing us because he needs to get out and play tennis. Just follow Joe on TikTok, J Neuer <laughs> underscore Inspiration Nation. Oh, the audacity, the audacity. So, last week, a hero stepped into the breach to cover us for conversation because yeah, we didn't you- have one. You can't count it as a subject, though, I don't think, because um, it's one of it's, it's, <laughs> That it's, was. I found out afterwards. I'd, I'd undersold it. That was our fifth one fives winging it episode. Yeah, I had to actually count back. I went through the podcast. I actually, I had to go back through the archives, as you always say to our lovely listeners. And yeah, I had to go, oh, five. Yeah, this is quite a few. I can believe it. It's fantastic. Yeah. That's how bad we are, organization. We've had to wing five of these in three years. <laughs> It's a top, oh. top subject, and we thank everyone out there for supporting them, and we can do another one if needed. However, which one of you two is now stepping up to the plate after my hugely detailed prepped and research subject last week? I have one, but I don't know if you two will be able to get in on it. So we can sense check mine, and if it doesn't work, then... Um, I like this. It's like an on-air production meeting. Somebody, let's go, let's somebody will have to take over. Go for, it, go for it. Uh, have you both seen the latest James Bond film? No. Uh, which one is it? Good stuff. Well, okay. well, then, Thank well, then... you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week. W- w- which one is it? What's it called? No Time to Die. No, I haven't seen it. Okay, then, the... then, we, then we can't do mine. Uh, is there anything inspirational you can pull off the back of that or anything like that? No? Uh, I'll be honest, it wasn't an inspirational subject. It was a chatty subject. But um, oh, chatty. A, uh, if you haven't seen it, then I, I, we can't talk about it. <laughs> It's right. TikTok has just paused, which means Joe is delving into his subject list. So we'll be good to go. Thank you, everyone out there. Sure, homework. Continuing to listen to Inspiration uh, Nation podcast. That's your homework. Head over to Inspiration Nation. What to watch the film? I'll yeah. do that. Inspirationnation.org.uk. Full details of everything you need there. Support us. Merch. Joe supporting some today. If you're on YouTube, um, coaching service, archive, lots of good stuff. Inspirationnation.org.uk. Okay, I've got. I've got a subject. Oh, where's Ryan gone? That's all right. Don't worry. Continue on. Okay. Continue on. Right. Okay. So the subject is don't let the old man in. Hold on. I better. Um, is this push. like when me and Ryan are here first and we decide whether or not to let you in from the lobby? Or. Could yeah, it could be. What the police or when tell I, you to do. Or when I just. Joe. Name, <laughs> when I use your name, Lee, in a special gift that I put on there, but I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so don't let the old man in. This came about, really, because I was having my hair... Where's Lee gone now? I, gone? I disappeared because I had to blow my nose. I'm not very well. Lee's I just sound, doing this. Apparently, I sound like Barry White. So, Barry White. So I... Oh, okay. Apparently, right, okay. Right, anyway, don't let the old man in. Um, it came about when I was going to have my hair cut. Inspirational haircut. So I go to my local place and was talking about like negativity it was i don't know how it came back it's some person was talking about oh i'm so old and then oh, i'm sure i can mention his name because i'm going to give him a bit of a shout out ollie's barber local to me his name's ian and he said Why is i it got called told ollie? yeah his name's ollie it's ian's it's ian but it's ollie's barber yeah oh, it's, right, it's, okay. he named it after his lad his family yeah and uh, he was having a chat in the, in the barber's chair and he's neg- always negatively going around he said don't let the old man in it's a saying his dad used to tell him don't let the old man in, and and and, it, and it's not. This is not like, um, I suppose, a uh, having to go at old men or whatever. Because I'm getting to this age where I'm getting older, etc. But it's about the mindset. So we can get older in age, but we we can adopt a mindset. We don't have to let the old man in. I really love this, by the way. It's like because I've known young people that uh, uh, almost like adopt an old mindset. Even oh, I can't, you know, oh, I'm just, I just can't do it. Or it will be like they might be like 25. I'm already over the hill, and they're, they're like at the prime of their life. Like, but they're talking like they're like in their, you know, like near the end of their life. So they've almost like ended their life before they because they've let the old man in. Well, maybe we should call it. Maybe don't let the old person in because this this goes across all genders. Don't let the old person, in, you know. So. That's what I want to talk about, really. Where, when are there moments where we have let the old person? I know I have. When I was suffering, again, I, I do repeat this stuff, but it's about when I had my depression, I was really not in a great place. 
I didn't think I could do a lot, you know, I'm, you know, all that sort of stuff. And it really had about it had effect on me. And so when I play things like tennis, which I'm going to go off this podcast, by the way, after this podcast, I'm going to play tennis. You know, I could go, well, that, that person's young, a lot younger than me. Well, I'm never going to have a chance. But the fact is, I've played someone who's in their 20s and I beat them at singles tennis. So it's all about, it's just, it's, it's not all about it. It is about mindset. But if I'd gone, oh, this, this player's well too young, is going to, going to run around the corner and beat me, then I'd, I'd probably just sabotage myself and lose the game. Um, albeit, you know, they need a bit more practice and stuff like that. You know, they could, they will probably will do it physically after a bit of time. But the fact that I could adopt that mindset of going, that I can win this, you know, and I feel that whole thing of not letting the old man in and that feeling that I can do this. And I'm not talking about like, if I was a basketball player, I'm going to be like Michael Jordan, dunk a basket because I, I can't do that. You know, I, there's got to be, lim- there'll be a limitation, like a physical one. But to do the everyday tasks, I'm talking the everyday things or like you're going to do your gym or you're going to go to a tennis match or, you know, don't defeat yourself before you've had a chance. So this is what not letting the old man is. And this is the concept I want to explore today. So what about you guys? Have you have you had this yourself or you experienced it? Or have you heard other people sort of sort of say, I'm too old for this, I can't do this, but actually they're really quite young. Um, so what are your thoughts on this? If I've got this right, Joe, is this entire subject just a pretense for you to be able to say you beat a 20-year-old at tennis? <laughs> no, it's that's not. basically what but did it sound like that, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. he's like, he was, so they're at uni, you know, at uni, I think they're at uni, 20, 20, just over 20. Um, could be just in that in between bit, you know, leaving leaving school. Yeah, but, but the thing is, yeah, um, no, it's not about that. But it, but it is about, <laughs> you know, that, it did it sound like that? It's really bad, isn't it? But what I want to say is that, you know, there are people younger, but I can beat them. But there are people older than me that can beat me. Hashtag casual brag. There you go. Should we put that on the podcast? Put it on a t-shirt. Put it on a t-shirt. I know. I'd like to thank you first of all, Joe, for referencing the barbers. You know the PTSD that this brings on for me in this particular Sorry subject. That. It's fine. Sorry I'm all good. That. We talked about the previous ones. I'm yeah. all good with said thing now, so it's all okay. I mean, I'm very overdue, but I'm getting very long at the back here. But Got it's all right. It's more of a time thing now than anything else. So I know I. I say I know people. Not anyone I can think of I know now, but I have interacted with people in the past when I was younger and they were about the same age as me. I'm going to say that is even in 20s who would be very conscious of their retirement and almost their entire plan for life was to continue working until they can finally retire. And I think that's like you said, that letting the old man letting the old man and not anyone i know now or anything like that and anyone i can think of it just made me think of those sort of conversations that popped into my head where you like i think that made me think of what you're talking about there was that kind of letting that type of thinking into their head and i wouldn't say defeatist but maybe and not giving up either but somewhere in that ballpark yeah they didn't see anything for themselves other than that yeah and and i agree with that and, and it's you hear it work a lot don't you I'm just doing this to get to my retirement. And I think that's where it is. I must have overheard it in the office so many times. And actually, don't get me wrong, the plan could well be that it is, it's work, home, work, home until you, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, but there's so many other little things you can be doing in between that time. You know, what you're doing with friends or family or a hobby or, or, or anything, you know, it's, you know, it just, it just things like wait, wishing away time when there's so much to be done. But the other thing I've talked about as well, is not, you know, you, you want to get a good home life. You want to have good friends. And of course there's ups and downs with that, but we spend most of our time at life at work. You know, if people are thinking, I've just got to go through this day, I've just got to get to my retirement. What you spend most of your life at work, what sort of life is that when you're not trying to shape it into where you want it to be, right? If you're miserable at work and all you're doing is going, oh, I've just got to get through, just get another few more years. You could do a lot. You could do quite a few things in a few years, depending on how close you are, right? Say you're 10 years, right? 10 years away from retirement. 10 years, we've, we've proved on the podcast, three years from now, three, 3.5 years, I think three and a half years, right? We've developed a lot in three and a half years. So you imagine 10 years, you know, a person who says, oh, I just want to get through to retirement, you know, that's just really, you're not, you know, when your your life is going past you, you're living that life. You're spending most of your life just getting through the day when you could reflect and go, do you know, what? could I enjoy my work a bit better? What could I do to enjoy what I'm doing a little bit better? Can I change it? Can I, can I appreciate certain things? Do I need to change? You know, you know, because you are, 
your life is now is the power of now your life is right right now we're not always going to enjoy life let's be realistic but what we should be aiming for is to, to enjoy what we do right there's always going to be those challenges but how do we get to there but that's why i i really feel for people that films want to get through today and you know bless her my mum passed away this year and uh you know, she, she she would say, I'm just, you know, I've just got, a few, I've just got to hang on for a couple more years, you know, to get through. She did enjoy it. It's very vocational, but towards the end, it was very much a, very much a struggle. And I won't go into it. You know, she had a bit of a, a challenge going on. But she was very much of the mindset, just got to get through these two years. Just got to get through two years. And I was just thinking, you can change this if you want. You know, you can change the way, you know, you interact with people and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things we talked about. So anyway, that drawing on the back of what you said, Lee, that's what I really want to attack, really, because whether or wherever this is life, so it could be you're in a relationship, it could be at work, you know, why should you have to put up with, oh, I've just got to su- survive? And sometimes you do have to just get through those moments, but to, to make sure you're putting things in place to, to start to improve things, to start to make things better, to make things a little bit more hope for the future that you can sort of aim towards. So, yes, you're, you've got this difficulty now, but what could I put in place to start to move me towards this, this thing that I really do want rather than just sitting in that place of letting the old man in or person in i'm trying to talk, make it a bit more wider so person in um that's really what i was saying about that but anyway over to you guys anything come out of that for you guys i definitely since i've turned 25 i started that impending doom thought i remember um, you talking about this a while ago i thought about <clears throat> that when joe said this <laughs> the issue with having this impending doom at 25 is nobody validates you everybody's like oh you're such a baby you're in your prime of course but I'm sure when you were both 25, all you could think about was, oh, crap, I'm 30 soon. And then when you're not 30, you suddenly start thinking your life's over at that point. There, there are thoughts that go through everyone's mind like that. Or at least or at least you start thinking, I should start settling down with my life. If I haven't moved out, I should start looking to move out. If I've not married this girl, I should marry this girl. If I don't have kids, I should start about thinking about having kids. Because you hit that 25, and before you know it, I'm Lee's age, which is like 493. And then life's done. Oh, imagine how old Joe is then. Um, Don't turn around at me, Lee. <laughs> it was at you, emotion, right? Is that you, but... Lee? Ryan, Ryan pointed that at you, not me. So don't bring me into this. Go but on, no matter how often you, you or I at this age feel like that, anyone you ever tell is like, well, you're only 25. I'm, I'm 27 now, but you're only 25, 27. It doesn't matter. 27? Better See? watch out. This is it. Stuff. This is it. This is the sarcasm that, that you get from everyone from everyone because because they're older than you and they have felt these feelings but they feel it worse when you hit 35 heading towards 40 and then probably even worse when you're 45 heading towards 50 that this this it scales up right um and you start you start thinking about well, what am i going to do when i'm 50 you know am i going to stop am i not going to be able to play ten, as ten, as much tennis in the next five years am i not going to be able to go to the gym as much in the next five years. I like how you referenced in our respective hobbies to kind of make it true to us there. That yeah, yeah. Well. I do I do think, Ryan, I think we talked about this when we had you talked about this before. I do from my perspective, and it might be those people feel like it, I do think you have early onset doomsday clock. Because I said yeah. I did I I was probably thirty five plus when I started to to feel that, which I think is where you do get and I do think, and I know you don't feel it now. But I do think when you are of my age or Jose's age, you know, if you're lucky enough to live that far, not, not everyone does, that you will see someone who says this at 25 and will have even more perspective on, oh, you're only 25 or oh, you're only 27, because there is so much runway ahead of you right now. Oh, of course, of course. But I also think it, there is that, and it, but it's all it's all relative because at the time, and don't get me wrong, everyone's on their own path and it takes different journeys because I no, so I was a year away from having kids, but I was about to get married and I think have moved out a year when I was your age. So on that perspective, you've got, oh shit, I'm behind the scale. But then I know people who did all that stuff five, six, seven years before I did. Yeah. So I was way behind them. And I also know people who did it even after the yeah. age you're at now. And I don't I don't think there's one singular path. And I think we talked about this before in a recent we podcast, but when this stuff starts to happen, it starts to happen really quickly. Really, like you don't even notice it. And it's it's not like one day you're in this situation and the next you're in another. It's a series of events that move you from that one place to the other, almost so fast you, you miss it. But I say once that once that boulder starts rolling, it starts rolling very, very quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think... I, 
Go on, let go, go on, go on. I was, just, I was just going to say, I think it's it's difficult when you're in this position, right? Because you you don't you just don't know. Like Lee, you said you got it when you were closer to thirty five, but the same argument could be made. You still got over half your life left as if you live properly. So the same arguments there to be made when you had that, these I'm issues. One hundred plus. Well, there you go then. The same, but you know what I mean. The the yeah yeah hundred percent. Uh, the logic is still there. All right, maybe maybe you're ten years later than me. You have got ten years more life experience than I have. Sure, it's the logic still applies, and I think it. I it, there's just been certain things since I've hit twenty five. Like I I don't my knees don't crack when I stand up, and my back doesn't hurt all day, so it's not that bad. But there are just things you think about that you're like, I would have done that ten years ago, but I would never do it now. And that's a maturity and b life experience, right? So we understand those things, like I nightclubs aren't really my scene anymore but 10 years ago and there are people that i work with or work for me now that are, that are prime in that age so it's like and all of a sudden you think wait a minute when did i stop wanting to do that you only <laughs> realize after the fact so then you start having to reminisce and then that's when those thoughts start compounding right um, and i think that's that bold and like i said you 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 transitioned out of that without even realizing you did it almost i wouldn't say that I would say that I thought about it less in the last few months, but I think that's just because I've been so hyper focused on 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 work and other things and living my life again now that I've sorted out some of the problems that I mentioned before. So and may, maybe that's part of the coping bit because, like you said, I've gone through that same thing in a, in a very similar situation. Joe, you may have done the same, but it's, I was going to say is part of the the solution, if you like, to not dwell on that, is to actually focus on what can you do now, what are you doing, where are you spending your time. Which again, it sounds like you've done that without almost planning to do it, and it's definitely shaped a different mindset for you. And I think it's, and I know I come back to this a lot, but it is that kind of being in the moment thing, not yeah. worry. And again, you've got a plan. You know, you've got a plan. It's not about living recklessly. You've got to have good, solid plans. You know, financially, career wise, well wise family lives whatever it is but they don't you know that doesn't all happen in a day it happens over a long term what's that yeah. little step you've got to do and actually as long as you're on that path what are you then doing to enjoy that moment while that path is is moving on and it's a combination of all all those sort of things so that you aren't worrying about what's coming more than you are driving yourself there yeah. something like that that's my attempt at something inspirational like you'd say at this point joe yeah i like that i, I like all that and uh, it's really interesting when we go through these different ages, because actually when Ryan was talking about in the 30s, you know, that's when I, I think it was, my, it was probably, it was my 30s when I had that depression and I was thinking, what's this all this for? And I felt like on a bit of cycle, come to work, go to sleep, go, you know, go, go to work, come home, go to sleep, get up, go to work. And it felt like it's on this cycle, but I never had that thought about what could I do? And that's when I discovered coaching and coaching was such a powerful tool to be really like you say in the moment make some solid plans take some solid action what's in your control that you can actually focus on like you said you know and when are we ever the right age right when are we ever the right age like you know it's always that that oh i'm just i'm too young or now i'm too old you know there's all those thoughts that are like that letting the old person in letting the old man in right whatever age you know you've got to look at it in, in the practicality you know is it physically can you do it <laughs> like, i'm planning to play i'm planning to play tennis till i'm 70 80 90 if i can if i could walk around oh, i will do because there are there are, old, 20, all over there the are players i'll tell you what there are players at that club that are 70 80 and they're playing really well like they're they're good so you know, again, it's it's all about mindset, um, and and what can we do? You know, what can we do with what we be given? So it's really, really important. I, I always ask yourself, you know, when you start when you start hearing yourself saying, oh, "I'm too young for that," or "I'm too old for that," always think about maybe someone else that's done what you want to do, and look at them. You know, there's, there's young people that have achieved great things. There are old people that have achieved, achieved great things. Colonel, not Colonel Mustard, he's a Cluedo. But, you know, Colonel did the KFC. He launched KFC when he's in his sixties or seventies or something. Colonel he launched Sanders. a business. That's it, Colonel Sanders, right? And you've got people like Elon Musk launching businesses at crazy young ages. Well, and one of the, the other end, Facebook man, Mark Zuckerberg oh, in yeah. 20. So there you go. There's two extremes there of it. And I think, Joe, I just want to touch on your bit there. And it's just a parallel where Ryan is. Because, Ryan, you're, you're, you're saying you're 27. Joe, now, if I was to ask anyone who knows Joe to describe Joe in one word, it would be coaching and or inspirational those that is that is you joe that is who you are to your core but if i met you when you were ryan's age that wouldn't have been any part of what you are at that time it's because that didn't even become a thing until you're in your 30s and it is 
it is who you are through and you know there might be something that happens next year you find that kind of develops or reinvents or reshapes yourself that then defines you that never happened before so I think you're that's and I know it's what you said but that is my takeaway from this is never be oh it's too young it's too old it's too late it's too early they're just mental constructs you use to block yourself in I think that's a really great bit of advice just be curious you know whether whatever lights you up just follow that curiosity and explore it you know you know like lee's got his wrestling ryan's got his pool playing i've got my tennis and coaching all that malarkey it's, 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 you know, say, it's i like that both your things are things you go out and do and mine is something i sit on the sofa and watch that's a good, that's a well, good and, and, and and jim lee right <laughs> jim he's going to go into gym after this right that's right i'm on a bit of a, i'm on a, a bit of decorating today actually i'm supplementing oh, okay. the gym for decorating fair enough fair enough no, but no, I th- I know. And uh, as I say, yeah, so don't let the old old person in. Anyway, Lee, over to you, because I think we're probably running down a little bit on time. Well, the countdown clock's on. Look at that. Joe's even keeping us on track. That's what I like to see, Jose. He's keen to <laughs> get out of, for the tennis. That's brilliant. Tw- I'm like, I don't know what to There's do, a bit of a pause there. I was thinking, what's going on? Do you speak? <laughs> he's taking my job right sincerely everyone out there we thank you for supporting what we're doing we are 380 plus shows deep now whole archive there to go back and listen to still lots of people looking through there i see the numbers so we thank you out there follow us on social media at listen to in listen t-o-i-n a lot of good new follows going on over there we do follow back as well and of course joe is on tiktok j noyer underscore inspiration nation you can see us live each and every tuesday of what we're doing some great comments on there Loads of love, I noticed, for you on TikTok, Joe. So big love to all those oh, supporters got, for you there with what you're likes, doing. Yeah, all of us. It's for all of us. Don't forget, it's all of us. It's not me. It's all of us, you know. Um, so, yeah. It's we are, see we are the um, the backup dancers <laughs> to the main man that is Jose <laughs> not the back. You're not the backup dancers at all. Right, go on. What are we doing? That's it. We're all good now. Thank <laughs> you, guys. Good conversation. We will be back in again next week. Everyone out there, again, we boy, tell friends, tell family. That's what helps the show grow. Click the five star button, hit subscribe, leave a review. We appreciate all that stuff greatly. And we will now let Joe go and play tennis and we'll be back again next week. Three, two, one, Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys next time. Later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you'd want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.